Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I've got something really exciting for all you Samsung Galaxy users out there. So whether you're rocking the latest Galaxy S25 or using an older model with one UI, I guarantee you'll discover something new in this video. So we're diving deep into the seven unique Samsung Galaxy features. Some are hidden gems, some are brand new with the latest one UI updates, and all of them are super useful in daily life. So grab your phone, follow along, and let's hit a goal of 300 likes on this video. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a comment, and let me know which feature blew your mind. So let's begin. So feature number one is your detail enhancer. So have you ever zoomed into a photo and wished it looked a bit sharper? So Samsung's detail enhancer feature found in the gallery editor uses AI to redefine your image. So it enhances clarity, texture, and fine details. So this is perfect for photos that look slightly soft or grainy. So here as an example, we have this photo from our gallery, which I've taken through my Samsung Galaxy device. And as you can see, if I go ahead and crop this image, tap on crop, this will now start using the detail enhancer feature on your Samsung Galaxy device. So the detail enhancer feature is currently switched on. So this will basically enhance your picture. So as you can see, the picture is now being taken. So this is what it looks like. Now let me show you once detail enhancer is switched off. So we'll go ahead and open up menu. We'll tap on settings. Now we'll go and scroll down and here in the editing part, you'll find detail enhancer. Tap on this. Here we'll go ahead and switch this off. So go back. Now let's go back to the same picture. And now we'll go ahead and zoom into this. Now we'll go crop. And now let's go ahead and compare it. So this is without the detail enhancer and this is with your detail enhancer. So as you can see, your detail enhancer feature has actually brightened the image up. There's more details to the image as well. In this image here where detail enhancer has been switched off, you can see that it's more blurry, more distorted, while in the one where it's switched on, you can see more details on the cube itself. So to turn this detail enhancer feature on, you wanna go ahead and tap on menu, tap on settings, and here you need to find the detail enhancer. Tap on this and you wanna go ahead and select maximum. Now go back and then go ahead and edit your pictures. So this makes your photo look professional without needing third-party apps. This is ideal for close-up shots, food pics, or portraits. And Galaxy AI Enhancements ensures your photo retains natural color and contrast. Feature number two is how to use the powerful gallery search bar. So Samsung's gallery app now features an intelligent, powerful search bar, allowing you to search not just by file name, but also by color, objects, landmark, people, and even text in the image. So let me show you how to use this. So here we'll go ahead and first open up gallery and then we'll go ahead and tap on search. So now at the bottom here, you'll see the search bar. What are you looking for? So here you can go ahead and type anything you like. So let's just say I'm looking for something pink. Tap search. And this will now bring out all the images related to pink color. Let's go ahead and look for a landmark. So let's go ahead and look for water park. And these are all the pictures related to water parks. So you can instantly find the sunset photo with red sky or the Eiffel Tower picture. It saves tons of scrolling time and it uses AI based recognition to organize your memories effortlessly. Feature number three is where you can open two gallery instances at a time. So here's a feature most Samsung users don't even know exists. You can actually open two gallery apps at the same time, allowing you to compare photos side by side right on your screen. So this is super useful when you're editing pictures or you're trying to decide which shot looks the best. So let me show you how this can be opened. So here we can go ahead and open up gallery. In gallery, I'll go ahead and open up this image here. Now I wanna go ahead and compare this with another screenshot which I've taken. So I'll go ahead and tap on the three dots and then I'll go ahead and find this option called open in another window. Tap on this and now I can go ahead and find the other picture and I can go ahead and start comparing it. Here I can go ahead and also edit it edit the picture while looking at the original. And here I can go ahead and make my edits. So let me show you how you can do this on your Samsung Galaxy device. So for this, you'll need to go ahead and open up gallery, next tap on menu, then tap on settings. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find gallery labs. If you don't have this, you need to go ahead and tap on about gallery, go ahead and tap seven to eight times on this version number until you see a dialog come up here saying that gallery labs has been enabled, go back, Go to Gallery Labs. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find this option here, open in another window. So open new viewer in other window from image or video viewer. So go ahead and turn this feature on. Go ahead and close gallery. Go ahead and reopen it. 
and then go ahead and view your image. So for example, this one here, go ahead and tap on the three dots, then tap on open in other window. You can even do this on videos as well. So it lets you view two videos at the same time. So this is perfect for comparing before and after edits. This is great for photographers or anyone sorting through similar photos. It saves time, no need to constantly switch back and forth between images. And this works smoothly on large screen devices like the Galaxy Z Fold, the S Ultra series, or any tablets. Feature number four is where you can create the depth effect on your lock screen. So with the latest One UI 8 update, Samsung has actually ruined the way you can add the depth effect on your lock screen. So the depth effect gives your wallpaper a layered 3D look by automatically detecting the subject in your photo and slightly overlapping the clock or the notification behind it. So it adds like a 3D effect. However, in the latest update from Samsung, Samsung has actually added a border around the image. So let me show you how it looks like. So here we'll go ahead and first create the image. So here we'll use this image. We'll tap on three dots and we'll tap save as image. So it's here we have saved this as a PNG. Now let's go ahead and edit our lock screen. So let's say I wanna go ahead and add something here. So I'll tap on lock star, tap on app widget, go ahead and find the gallery widget, add that widget, bring it down here. Let's go ahead and choose that image. So when we go ahead and look at our lock screen, you don't see that depth effect as you are seeing this rectangle block behind the subject. So let me show you how you can create the real depth effect on your lock screen. So for this, we need to go ahead and open the Play Store and we need to go ahead and find this app called Photo Widget Easy. So this is the app which you need to install on your device. It's completely free. Now once installed, you wanna go back to your lock screen customization, tap on wallpaper and style, tap on your lock screen. Here we'll go ahead and delete this image. Now we'll tap on lock star, we'll tap on app widgets, and we'll go ahead and find that app called Photo Widget Easy. Tap on this. We'll use the four by four add widget. Okay, tap on settings. We'll go ahead and add the widget. Now we'll go ahead and enlarge this. So as you can see, you've got no more black rectangle behind the subject is completely transparent, you press done. And now when we look at the background, you'll see that depth effect on your Samsung Galaxy device. So this adds a premium modern iPhone style depth effect look to your lock screen. It makes your wallpaper stand out with realistic 3D layer. It's fully customizable, so you can adjust the photo, subject, and the border to your liking. And this reflects the Samsung's latest design innovation in One UI 8. Feature number five is where you can set a video wallpaper for your lock screen. So do you want to make your Samsung lock screen stand out like this? You can actually set a video as your wallpaper instead of a static image. Samsung's One UI lets you choose short clips or live moments that loop beautifully every time you wake your screen up like this. So let me show you how to do this. So first you need to go ahead and download a clip. So I've downloaded mine from TikTok and here in gallery, you'll see that clip. So this is the video which I wanna to add to my lock screen. So in order to add this to my lock screen, I'll go ahead and tap on the three dots and then tap on set as wallpaper. Now I'll set it for my lock screen. Now as you can see, this wallpaper has been applied. I can go ahead and tap on done. And now I can press home, go ahead and view my lock screen. So this gives your phone a unique and a dynamic look that stands out instantly. It lets you relive your favorite memories every time you unlock your phone. It's simple to customize. You can trim, crop, or mute the video as you like, and it works smoothly with Samsung's optimization so it doesn't drain much battery. Feature number six is where you can open specific apps using specific fingerprints. So this one is a hidden security gem. On your Samsung Galaxy phone, you can assign specific fingerprints to open specific apps. So for example, your thumb could unlock WhatsApp, your index finger could open up your banking apps, and this is all directly from the lock screen. So to set this up, you'll need modules from the Good Lock app. So let me show you how to do this. So first we'll go ahead and set a fingerprint. So here we'll go ahead and open up settings. We'll go and scroll down and find lock screen and AOD. Then we'll tap on screen lock and biometrics. Now we'll enter in the pin number. Now here we'll tap on fingerprints. So here you need to go ahead and add a fingerprint. So we'll go ahead and add our pinky finger. 
Now, once that's added, you can go ahead and press done, press home, and now we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now, in the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and scroll down and you want to find Routine Plus. Now, here you want to go ahead and tap on Fingerprint to Website. Now, here you want to go ahead and set this. So, unlock with the fingerprint, tap on this, and you want to go ahead and set the fingerprint which you've just set. So, this is Fingerprint 2, which is my pinky finger. Tap done. We'll go ahead and edit this. We'll tap on the website and we'll go ahead and change this to open an app. And here we're trying to go ahead and open up a app. So do an app action or open an app. Select that. Now we'll go ahead and select YouTube. Open YouTube, press done. We'll tap save, give it a name, and then go ahead and press save again. Now we'll go ahead and lock our phone. And now when we go ahead and unlock with our pinky finger, this will open up the YouTube app. If you see, if I go ahead and unlock it using my thumb, this will just unlock the device. So this boosts your privacy. Only you can access certain apps with your certain fingerprints. It speeds up multitasking so you can jump straight into an app you need. It's fun and a futuristic way to use biometric security beyond just unlocking your phone. And lastly, feature number seven is where you can open video in the video player for more settings. So when you open up a video directly in gallery, you won't see much settings. So here, if you go ahead and open up gallery, and then we go ahead and tap on menu, then video. Now, as you can see, these are all the videos that I have on my phone. And if you go ahead and tap on them, so this is how we're gonna view the video. However, you don't see much options. You can only see take a frame and the option to mute the volume or increase the volume. So once you open this video in the video player, this gives you access to advanced playback settings like changing playback speed, trimming, color adjustments, and even frame by frame viewing. So to do this, you wanna go ahead and tap on the three dots here at the top right, and then tap on open in video player. So this will now take you to your Samsung's video player. And as you can see, you've got more controls. So you've got something where you can take a frame, you can basically create a GIF out of it. You can go ahead and play around with the audio eraser. So you have the audio eraser option here. You have the option of making this in full screen, changing the aspect ratio. You can go ahead and make this in pop-up windows. You can change the speed, you can rotate it, and you can lock it. So these are all the options which are available on your video player. So this offers deep control over your media. So this is great for editors or content creators who review footage often. This is built-in convenience, so no more third-party video apps required on your Samsung Galaxy device. And that wraps up today's video on seven unique Samsung Galaxy features, some of which even long-time users might not have known about it. So which one was your favorite? Or did I surprise you with something brand new today? Drop me a comment down below letting me know. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and help me reach our goal of 300 likes on this video. Your support keeps this channel going, and I've got plenty more Samsung tips, tricks, and hidden features coming your way. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.